Hey, hey, hey! Hi guys, I'm so happy. I'm super excited. Thank you for the love. Thank you for always coming back to support this girl. I'm so thankful. And if you're seeing my beautiful face for the first time, my name is Clara Joseph and I post videos about life here in the UK, tips on how to get here, relationship and Christianity talk. So if you've been looking for ways to migrate or relocate down here to the UK, this is the right channel for you. This is the right place for you because I dish out a bonge tips on how to get here. Well guys, today we'll be doing something different. We'll be doing something different. So I saw a particular post on Bella Ninja and it talks about marriage and relationship. And this post is saying, oh, if a wife or a husband shares like house rent and um, feeding, which is more higher? Firstly, we all know feeding is higher because Belena in the chop pass, everybody knows that. My mommy always say this word that Bele no know how much in they consume. You know, we eat every day. Some people eat five times in a day, some people eat six times in a day. Likewise, myself as a as an authentic foodie, I eat almost seven times in a day. No jokes, guys. <laughs> well, maybe that's a lie. <laughs> well, so I'm not really here to debate whose is more higher or if they should share or so but my main topic for today is talking about the proverb 31 woman yes that woman in proverb 31 and it's also refer and link back to this issue of if they should share or not because i went to the comment section that's one thing about me whenever i see a particular post i just go to the comment section to have a laugh and to read other people's view and other people's opinion you know every one of us have our different views diverse opinion on different issues and topic you know so i just went to the comment section and to my uttermost shock and surprise i was seeing girls like girls oh beery girls said oh why should we share in fact god forbid i can never bring stuff to the table i can never share i can never uh, 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 do this one god forbid i will never choose anyone and I'm like, really? I think all these girls got it all wrong. They think they're sleeping on a bed of rose. They think marriage is like a bed of rose. Yeah, maybe it's a bed of rose. But they think marriage is like, I don't know how to put it. Most people, especially we Nigerians or some Nigerian ladies, we got the whole marriage issue wrongly. We got it all wrongly. Like, we believe that once we are married, oh, now the husband will carry everything for your head. Now the husband will carry the matter for your head carry our papa our brothers our sisters and it's all wrong you know now with this post what it means in essence is what are you going to bring to the table as ladies it's not necessarily saying that oh you must share this or you must share feeding or you must share um house rent it's not saying that it's saying in essence what are you bringing to the table as a woman in a marriage what are you bringing to the table what are you bringing to your husband what is your contribution so we say, oh, it's just for me to look sexy, both children, take care of them. No. So let's go to the issue of Proverbs 31, woman. And I'm here with my Bible, and I'll be making a lot of references from my Bible because this channel is also about Christianity talk, you know. So you know why growing up, I really thank God for the kind of mother God has given to me. She made it known to us that marriage is not like people say it. It's not like we see it. I'm not saying marriage is sour or marriage is not sweet. Marriage is a beautiful thing. It's the most beautiful experience I've ever gotten here in life. And I thank God for the blessings of marriage. You know what I mean? But I'm not delusional or I'm not ignorant to the fact that I'm my husband's ep mate. And when I mean ep mate, like I'm my husband's ep. I'm his eper. I should ep him in some ways. Even when God created Eve, he said, now you are an help me to Adam. You've been created to be an help to Adam. That is it. You know? So maybe this generation or our generation has gotten it all wrong. You know, that when we marry, we shouldn't bring nothing to the table. Yeah? I'm not saying every woman should be a career woman or, or have jobs or have businesses or the rest. But when I mean bringing stuff to the table, something tangible, it's not all, all about sex. In case you don't know, if you think marriage is all about sex, no, it's not all about sex. You know, no matter how rich your husband is, or how wealthy you think he is, or how good 
it is financially you need to bring stuff to the table as a woman it's essential it's necessary it can't be debated in fact when i see people debating this stuff on whatsapp group on facebook instagram and the rest i don't even go there because when i start saying people be like oh where does this one come from where does this woman come from especially we as africans you know even um if in the bible she went to pluck fruit from the tree and give to her husband that is she went to walk she went to look for food to give to her husband to eat you know so as a woman and you're saying i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna share this i'm not gonna do that yeah i think you got it all wrong about marriage you got it all wrong i'm not saying if you're in a relationship like a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship and a man tells you outrightly that oh when we marry oh you'll be paying picking school fees me i will be fueling gen uniform in sorry i'll be putting fuel in the gen or oh you'll be the one to buy curtains i'll be the one to buy share that is wrong guys that is a toxic relationship and you should run away from that you should you should take the very final bus stop run away i'm telling you run away from that you know hope i'm not talking too much because you guys say i talk too fast yeah so let me slow down clara slow down slow down slow down yeah so guys my concern now about this our present females and generation is that we've really gotten it all wrong i've seen our mothers you know it's our mothers i really call the proverb 31 woman not this our generation now i've not really seen one or maybe i'm one myself i really don't know but our mothers so strong women very strong you know aspect of their life very strong they're going to also they're going to take care of picking they're going to do one or two just to support their husband see nobody has it all even that damn got away they see saying rich saying wife not going to do anything saying now on top bedding she going to stay two for seven i'm gonna lie that woman we have our own stuff doing to bring to our own husband you know because behind every successful man is a woman is a strong woman so you need to be strong when i mean strong even financially yes a lot of you don't want to hear this but yes financially you need to be strong especially before you intend going into marriage you need to be very strong financially you don't just wake up one day and say i want to marry what are you bringing to the table financially are you there are you prepared you know you don't want to share one or two you don't want to do this you don't want to do that <laughs> i laugh and most of these women it's when they enter marriage they start seeing all this they'll be like oh i didn't know i didn't know and most of them before you know they'll start getting very depressed in the marriage because their expectation is not being met or rather some of them the eye go come they go outside go they meet other person will get money you get what i mean it's not my prayer for any one of us but this is true this is the reality of life you know so guys let's go to proverb 31 woman so i will show you more of what i'm trying to say so now we'll be looking at the book of proverbs 31 my favorite favorite chapter of the bible yes and i also have a group in case you don't know called proverb 31 women on whatsapp and we are about 98 wonderful and amazing women that i call sisters so if you want to join this group i'll be leaving a link in my description box all you need to do is go after this video click on that link and you're welcome to join us whenever that you want now let's continue guys chapter 10 yeah and it says an excellent wife who can find this is a question a rhetorical question that you don't need answer for it says an excellent wife who can find let's go on. she's far more precious than jewels oh i love this verse 11 says the heart of her husband trust in her and he will have no lack of gain you know the heart of her husband trust in her and he will have no lack of gain talking about finances here yeah? talking about money here yeah? because whether we like it or not the number one marital problem and issue the number one fight couples do have is about finances is about money so let's go on i love this verse so much so if you've never read it 
please, please open your Bible. Go to Proverbs 31, verse 10 to the end. Read it in details. And when you're reading it, pray to God to give you an excellent understanding, excellent spirit for you to understand this, for you to eat it like bread and put in all these into your daily life, especially if you're a wife. Please go and read this. Now, let's go on, guys. You know, verse 12 says, she does in good and not am all the days of her life. Verse 13, she seeks wools and flays and works with willing ends. Verse 14 says, she's like the ships of the merchants. She brings her food from afar. Still talking about finances, since still talking about work, Oslin bringing stuff to the table. As a wife, this proverb that one woman brought food from afar, meaning just as we see it here in our everyday life, going to your job, bringing in money at the end of the day, or going to your business, bringing in something tangible to the table, or going to market after the day's market, bringing in something. Yes, a lot of people, a lot of girls don't like to hear this, but this is the truth. You have to bring something, girl. You have to bring something as a wife. You have to bring something to the table. You have to bring in money. Ego, yes. Your husband will open his mouth and tell you, oh, wifey, um, we want to pay, we want to pay for this chair. Um, could you bring 250? Why I bring the 1 million naira? Could you bring 20 naira? Why I bring 70 naira? No. Your husband isn't going to tell you this, but as a wife, you need to use your senses. You need to know, yes, I need to contribute to this. I need to bring in something to this. Now, let's go on, guys. Verse 15. She rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and portion for her medians. Yes. She rises when it's not night. We all see it in our everyday life as a wife and as a mom. You need to wake up early. You know, prepare your kids for the school, make breakfast and the rest. And one thing I like about Proverbs 31 Uma, it's not only talking about you doing jobs, you hustling, you having a business, but it's also talking about even you being an housewife. Yes, it's talking about you too. You being an housewife. And in the terms of housewife, what are you bringing to the table? You know, I think people have abused the term housewife a lot. Most people think once you're an housewife, all you do is to sleep or all you will intend doing if you want to be a housewife in the future is to see that your wife, your husband is going to do all the things for you. You're not going to do nothing. It's a lie. Even as an housewife, you need to be industrious. If you want to be an housewife, be it to the fullest. Wake up in the morning, take care of your kids, prepare the breakfast, clean your home. If you have a maid, make sure you direct your maid on what to do or not not you sleeping and lazing around and at the end of the day you call yourself housewife and say oh in fact housewife is the most ethic job in the world we do even more than those women that have banking job those women that go to the markets or more it's a lie if you want to be a housewife be the housewife to the fullest let's go on guys verse 16 says she considers a feed and buys it what does this mean this is talking about investment. As a woman, you need to have investment. You need to invest. You know, I used to be that girl. I think once I have a lot of money in my account, I'm so rich, you know. Not all tea. I started growing in wisdom, in age, and maturity started settling in. I started to become aware of the fact that, oh, I need to invest. And when you invest, that is a very smart money move. So the Bible here talks about you investing as a wife. You need to invest for the rainy days. You really need to invest. Now let's go on. She considers a feed and buys it. With the fruit of her hand, she plants a vineyard. Proverb 31 woman is such a very strong woman. She's a strong, industrious, excellent, amazing mother and a wife. Let's go on. Verse 17 says, she makes linings garments and sells them. She delivers satchels to the merchants. You know, this is talking about you being a businesswoman. This is talking about you as a wife, being a career woman or having a job or a business and you bringing income back home. 
you know i always hear people say my money is my money especially we women my money is my money and his money is our money that is all wrong trust me no man in his right senses will come to you as a wife to say oh honey now that we're married once i pay school fees you will be the one to pay the children's uniform once i buy jane you will be the one to buy for no no man in his senses in his right senses will tell you that or if you're about to get married no fiance or a husband to be in his right senses will tell you that so you as a woman you need to use your senses you need to use your head you need to use your ori to know that this is what to be done yes i might be ranting a little bit but this is an issue i've always tried to discuss but no one has been hearing me no one has really seen it from my own perspective i know we all have our diverse views on issues but i just think a lot of us are blinded to the fact that we are new generation wives so we don't need to do all this you know there's some ladies i really admire here on the street of youtube and also in my daily life i don't want to start mentioning name but i see what these women bring to their own you know there was something i posted on my proverb 31 woman group and a lot of ladies or some ladies were like oh clara you're trying to underestimate housewife no i'm not saying that even me said my dream is to be housewife who doesn't like to be housewife you know you can be housewife but there's something you you are bringing to this home there's something you are bringing to this table talking about you being a youtuber as an instant at the end of the month after putting in all the work you get money for your views you are still bringing something to this home nobody say you won't buy mangi you won't buy pad you won't buy picking toothbrush or biscuit or biscuits you they go ask husband any smart you they go ask husband that is wrong that is so wrong and i'm against that i'm against that that is wrong you see all these actresses like mary unjoku all these actresses you know that their husband are financially where to do they are the odogus but they are still trying to also on their own because they want to gather something for themselves they want to have their own property their own investment so guys this is it guys go and read this proverb 31 woman properly go to the book of proverbs 31 read this properly get your own understanding and come back to the comment section and let me know what you think and if i got it all wrong or if i'm just here ranting guys so go and as you do this i pray god fill you with wisdom i pray it fills you with the understanding for you to really know what is talking about of you being an excellent woman and an excellent wife so this is the end of today's video guys and please do not forget to like subscribe and leave a comment and also share my video thank you for your love thank you for the support bye bye see you in my next video bye